What up and welcome back. I'm Jane, the plainest Jane, and I provide serve in the form of Black news and celebrity entertainment. Baby, we got some things that we need to talk about today. Things are always sticky in Hollywood and in real life. And today, I mean, you, you've seen the title. Like, it's, it's, it's finna get sticky. It's finna get nasty. Folks are dragging Funky Deneva. And I just, I just may be or may not be one of them. So let's get into it. Funky didn't even his constant hypocrisy. Um, his recent attacks on Chloe Bailey. Chloe Bailey has responded. And this all stemmed from the fact that um, Funky Deneva, the fellow that we see pictured here on the screen, is assuming that um, Halle Bailey uh, is, is, is pregnant. And so we're going to go through and we're going to watch a clip together. We're going to react to this clip and this attack on her together. In the meantime, while you get on in here, make sure y'all hit the thumbs up button. Support your girl. It is literally 4.57 in the morning over here in Baltimore, Maryland. So make sure you show some love and support the stream. And let me know how you feel about it. I was thinking about opening the phone lines. I'm unsure. But what are your thoughts? I see the chat has already gotten spicy. And I know... I just got into Funky Deneva literally about like two or so years ago, right? Two, maybe I would say two and a half years ago, tops. Before that, I had no clue who a, got, who a Funky Deneva was. But I do know that every single Black woman that I talk to personally, or even the opinions that I see online, they say that he does nothing but attack, bash, and drag Black women while he also attempts to emulate us at the same goddamn time. Somebody make it make some sense for me. I'm just curious. But we're going to get into it. And, and, and I'm a dish on the things that I have witnessed. I've been a consistent viewer of Fox Soul, TGIF, uh, back when Cocktails with Queens was a thing, back when Say It Out Loud, when Claudia Jordan was a thing. I've been watching and you know what? I have some thoughts because this, this this is a nasty man that can sit here and look this way and attack Chloe Bailey because he's assuming and he's entitled to information about the rumor, the allegation that her sister might be pregnant. Baby, hit the thumbs up. Have a seat on the bus. We finna pull off and and, and let's just see where this bus drags us because I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a little dragon in my spirit and i don't like to be that way because y'all know my 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 brand here on youtube is i i don't really it and in the words of funky deneva himself hey girl nessa girl <laughs> let's talk i don't talk about i don't go out of my way to talk about other youtubers like i really don't we all work here at the end of the day and there's more than enough people things and events to talk about that I don't feel the need to talk about my coworkers. I just don't. It's called a professional courtesy, right? An industry courtesy. If y'all work in the same place or, or at the end of the day, anybody that's on YouTube getting a check, I'm not talking about people that's on YouTube and pressed by views and getting a check, AKA homeless, dusty alley cat, rights or wrongs, Jaguar. We're not talking about people like that. We're talking about people who actually monetize off of their content, right? And they have a strategy and they have a structure. I don't talk about YouTube. It's like I, I I really try to stay away from that, right? But the constant attacks from a funky Deneva who is a part of the LGBT community and wants us to constantly make exceptions and, and, and make him comfortable and do and say things and change our entire vernacular and understanding of the world as we know it to make people of his, him and people of his community comfortable and the lack of respect for us natural women, baby, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of learning a new pronoun, a new pansexual, stove sexual, toaster oven sexual, uh, ginger flu. I, I got to learn a new term every week to keep up with how to respect y'all. And we lay it out in black and white for y'all all the time. And y'all consistently go over our toes. And when y'all feel slighted, we're phobic. But when we feel slighted, it's get over it. That's not what it is. I'm going to tell you how to feel. The, the call is coming from inside the house. And the call is misogyny. And whether you're a part of the community or not, I don't care whether you're gay, bi, pan, stove, pot, pan. I don't care what you are. Misogyny is misogyny if you are an XY chromosome. I'm tired of it. 
I'm tired of it. And I can't even fathom how somebody can look like they're akin to Flavor Flav can even part their lips to say, Chloe Bailey is ugly and she's catching a straight. And the conversation wasn't even about Chloe. Somebody make that make sense for me. So there's some things that we need to get into. Thank y'all so much for hitting thumbs up on the video. I highly appreciate it. Let's get ready to go real quick. Checking on your mental health. Shout out to my new subscribers. I just want to say thank y'all. Um, before I get into breaking down today's topics and viral events, make sure that you subscribe. All right. Hit thumbs up on the channel. I'm very unapologetic about my Sarah from the Black News Celebrity Entertainment and my opinions. Right. Everybody's not going to agree. But listen, I said what I said. Right. So subscribe, thumbs up or down. Either way, I appreciate it. But make sure to think critically and independently, regardless of what you hear from me or anybody else. And let's get this started because you are going to see this conversation all day today and maybe even throughout the rest of the week on social media. I'm just kicking it off for you. Let's go. The following video is broadcasting live. And thank you for being my studio audience. Thank you for hitting thumbs up and subscribing to my channel for more black news, celebrity entertainment, and a splash of controversy. And I'm not one to try to talk about looks because I, I, I agree with Funky sometimes, right? Nobody has to take it to looks. He took it to looks. For whatever reason. And I'm just trying to figure out why. Like what room does he have to really be calling a successful young woman ugly? Right? We go through all of these images of this brother. Okay? And he's sitting up here calling natural black woman. No BBL. Came on live bold enough, strong enough to come on live with no makeup and his entire persona, his entire business, his entire business model is built off of what? His entire brand is built off of what? It's built off of being intentionally ugly off of the backs of black women under the guise of mocking or trolling them all while emulating them at the same time. We have to be careful with these niggas with wigs sometimes because sometimes we give them too much room and too much allowance and we don't set a boundary and they become comfortable with disrespecting us. And it's a problem. They get upset and they call us all types of phobic, right? Because they're a protected class and we aren't. <laughs> make it make sense. This is the same individual who sat up here and call Blue Ivy a child ugly. And called her ugly. How does that, how, how does that, I mean, he just gets off on calling black babies, grown black, young black women, just calling them ugly. I, I just don't understand where he even, and I, I wouldn't care if he looked like Shamar Moore or, 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 or Michael Ely or whoever the hell. But it's not, it's 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 not making any sense to me. Is it making sense to y'all? Because it's not for me. Let me go ahead and transfer this clip. Because I thought I did already. Oh, I did. Okay. I, I I try to be silent, I try to be respectful, but you know, time and time again, when trying to meet, you know, people who feel like you you know what it really gives. People who are determined to be superior over you, whether whatever the patriarchy, however, whatever patriarchy is, it be given white supremacy. And no matter how much grace you try and say, I'll be respectful to you. But here's what I need for respect for me. It's like, mm -mm, mm -mm. we not doing that. And, and you give them an inch and they take them out. Listen to what he said about Blue Ivy a while ago with his wig on and his lipstick, by the way. Jay-Z and Beyonce, well, you know Jay-Z ugly than a motherfucker. Beyonce fine as fuck. And don't question two times about who else this is in this clip with him, because this is great buddy. Buddy, T.S. Madison, right? Let's continue. Blue you know, Ivory ugly, too. Oh, here she go. <laughs> Look at Jay-Z and Beyonce, well, you know Jay-Z ugly than a motherfucker. Beyonce fine as fuck. Blue you know, Ivory ugly, too. Oh, here she go. <laughs> Quiet as a skill. Has she gone? Has hold she on, go? hold on. Security! Hold on. Security! Hold on. 
half of y'all, half of y'all in here sitting next to a homegirl with an ugly daughter. Bitch, don't do that. Don't down. do that. Don't do that. Don't do it. Down. Don't do that. Now here's the. Okay, now here's the main issue. Here, here's one of the many issues I have with this, actually. Right? We're here because Funky Deneva was extremely triggered by the rumors of Hallie being pregnant and Chloe coming online talking about something totally different, her nails and her outfit for that evening. And she said, hey, keep my sister's name out your mouth. Okay, thank you. And while some people might, might find her personality to be cringy, she was sticking by her sister. Chloe is live talking about one thing and people are being intrusive and asking questions that they're just, they're flat out not trying to answer right now. If you're asking if that girl is pregnant and that girl not answering you, now you you jumping on Chloe's live asking about Hallie and her pregnancy. And that's crazy. And it's entitled. And these parasocial relationships have gotten quite out of control. So we're going to listen to this clip in a second where Funky feels some type of way about Chloe taking up for her sister, right? And when it comes to the LGBT community, which Funky is a part of, the first thing he do, he wasn't the one that was hit by a bullet. It was somebody else who was a part of the community. The first thing he does, because if you watch Fox Soul and if you watch TGIF, you know it's Al Reynolds, Claudia Jordan, and Funky Dineva. Funky is very biased when it comes to anything regarding the LGBT community. It's almost as if he's incapable of holding someone accountable because they're a part of the same community. And so I see quite often he takes up for people who are, and he has the backs of people who he's in community with, that being the LGBT community. And I'm not saying that's wrong, but what's wrong with Chloe taking up for her sister when you quite frankly take up for people in your community almost to a fault? Almost to a fault. So let's continue and let's actually get into the clip so that you can see what it is that we're actually responding to. And if you haven't already taken a moment to hit thumbs up on the video, please make sure you do so. Support is free. The cash app is on the screen. Donations, two, three, four, five, ten dollars are appreciated, but not required. But the cash app is right here on the screen. Dollar sign T-H-A. Make sure you proofread, not T-H-E, T-H-A. And thank you so much. Cool. All right, y'all. Rumors have been circulating that Haley Bailey is pregnant with rapper DDG's child. Now, the internet claimed to have seen a baby bump when they noticed Haley in the background of DDG's recent blog. Well, Haley seemingly shut the rumors down after posting footage from the video rehearsal for her new single. Now, she's wearing a sports bra and sweats, and there is no baby bump to be found. What do you think about these rumors, Al? Hmm, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I, I don't know, because we still haven't verified the picture with the sports bra on when it was taken. This is very clever by her team. I'm not mad at it. Um, I think what's fun, what I enjoyed the most about this story is how her sister took up for her and said, we don't play with that. We don't pay, play with Haley around here. That's our, that's family. I love the way that she stepped in and took up for her. I'm hoping that she's probably... Now, pay close attention to Al's stance right now because once Funky gets to talking and he's triggered for whatever reason, whether it's because he's always wanted to be a woman you know, whether it's uh, whether it's because, you know, Chloe and Hallie wear lipstick better than he does. We don't know. But listen to how Al's disposition changes once Funky puts a battery in his back. Mind you, they're both a part of the LGBT community. Al Reynolds identifies as bisexual. Uh, Funky Deneva identifies as flat out gay. Let's go. A little bit uh, more careful because she is a Disney talent and you know with Disney it's very hard to be a Disney talent and be pregnant out of wedlock 
So I do understand the concern that she has that this may have around her career. However, wonderful talent have done this before. Cardi B, Kiki Palmer have all had babies at the height of their careers or in the height of their careers, and they still have killed it. So Haley, if you are pregnant, I say just come out, be forthright, and let us enjoy it, and let us let us celebrate you, and let us you know keep you being the wonderful talent that you are, whether you're pregnant or not. And Lee, I say keep it to yourself because these people will never happy. They mad at you if you don't share it. They talk shit if you do share it and judge and all kind of things. And Chloe, she don't play about that little baby sit that her, her oh, little she don't. Not neither one of them do. And I love that. Q, what do you think about this? Q? <laughs> <laughs> you know, don't play with you, Q. <laughs> this story. Before I was indifferent about Chloe Bailey, and I know this story is about Haley, I can officially say I don't like her. Chloe Bailey is so goddamn lame to me. First of all, girl, you are Miss Preppy Ashley from the suburbs. Then you let's do this real quick before he go on his complete tangent. And y'all better keep my sister's name out your mouth. Thank you. She said it very Amen. kindly. Hallelujah. Right. You got to get me riled the hell up. Anyways, love you. We don't play about house. No. Like, what the heck? Period. Wonder if the nails will give anything away about what my outfit is tonight. And y'all better keep my sister's name out your mouth. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, Lord. to get me riled the hell up. Anyways, love you. We don't play that No. Like, what the heck? Period. Wonder. My whole thing is this. Funky went on to describe Chloe's demeanor here as she's trying to be gangster. Nothing about that sounded gangster. And you don't have to be gangster or make it seem like you 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 live out skid row or, or or wherever the case is in order to take up for a sibling. You 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 don't have this didn't come off as gangster. It came off as somebody that's protective and protective doesn't equal gangster. It's just hey, keep my sister name out your mouth. She sounded sweet as a button. She said shit and she also said amen hallelujah, right? Let's get back into Funky and his hypocrisy and bullcrap, right? This story, before I was indifferent about Chloe Bailey, and I know this story is about Haley, I can officially say I don't like her. Chloe Bailey is so goddamn lame to me. First of all, girl, you are Miss Preppy Ashley from the suburbs. Then you came out, you was being all promiscuous and shit, and then now you're trying to be a gangster. None of it is fucking believable, girl. None of it is believable. And I'm probably going to catch a lot of backlash for this, and without that makeup, she ain't cute. She should have never showed up on that camera with that fat-ass face without no makeup. She ain't cute. You're not believable. You're so goddamn inauthentic. That's why your shit ain't selling, all right? That's number one. Number two, I don't like people playing in our face, right? The girl is clearly pregnant. She's pregnant, all right? I analyzed that video. It's one thing to have the big piece on. She was waddling, and then when she went to put her arm around the girl, the, the dress draped over the stomach. You could visibly see the damn bump, all right? She didn't shut down shit showing these old ass videos. If she wanted to shut something down, she'd have stayed her ass to hell home, all right? That's number one. Number two, that, that video, that old ass B-roll, stop playing in our damn face. And if you really wanted to shut shit down, all you I got to pause it for a second, baby. Baby, I got to pause it for a second. And I came on here with no makeup. Look, I, I th there's a certain amount of relatability, right? Chloe Bailey is so unproblematic. It's so unproblematic. You may not agree with her personality. You might not understand her personality. She's quirky. And I do see comments all around social media saying that it's pretty cringe. But one thing about it is she is unproblematic. You, you may not get her. I think Chloe is, what, 23, 24 years old? 
and she'll go from giggling and saying this and people are like, well, what the hell? You might not get it. A lot of people don't get and don't respect Funky's lifestyle. This is a man. This is a man who, again, he built his brand off of what? Being intentionally ugly, right? Let's, 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 let's pull this up. Let's pull up all these pictures because he's acting like he be out here serving and he calling people ugly. He's intentionally being ugly off the backs of black women under the guise of mocking or trolling them all while emulating us at the same time. The reason why it was so easy for Funky to play and to be this caricature of, of, of an unkept woman and to mock women and, and, and take it a step further every time is because he's already ugly as hell. He can't emulate pretty women. And my question is this, with the way that Funky looks and the way in which he's been open in describing his mother, if Chloe Bailey is ugly as hell and she should have kept her fat ass face, right? First of all, she was bold and brave enough because it's the anti-blackness for me. And I don't even talk about anti-blackness a whole bunch to come on camera with no makeup and didn't even put her edges down to have locks. That's not easy to do because a lot of people will see that and say that you're unkept, not realizing that subconsciously a lot of us have been programmed. Look at these two golf club feet. Not realizing that a lot of us have been programmed to abide by and conform to Eurocentric beauty standards. Whose idea was it for us to start putting our edges down? Do I participate? Yes, I do. But it comes from a level of insecurity and a level of social acceptance that we all desire. If he thinks Chloe without makeup is ugly, I want to see a picture of his mother next to Chloe. That's what I want to see. Because he's so goddamn ugly. He looks like he could be related to Flavor Goddamn Flav. Somebody tell me I'm lying. When you look like the man... When you look like the crackhead from the PJs and the projects, who was the man that I have on the front of this thumbnail, you don't have no room to be calling a beautiful, young, successful, focused, unproblematic, vegan, black woman ugly. Are you kidding me? You're 40 years old with gray hair and you've done nothing but slap on 999 synthetical wigs on your head and pretend to be a woman your entire life. You only just stopped within the last couple of years. And you're calling a natural woman ugly. And you know what it really is? You've always wanted to cross dress under the guise of mocking black women. And oh, I'm going to just play it up for the housewives or I'm going to play it up for the... No, you're not playing shit up. You've always wanted to wear dresses and heels and wigs. And instead, what you did to make yourself comfortable is pretend like, oh, I'm mocking the women with bad hair and bad this. You're bad built. You're bad everything. And you're contradictory as hell. You sit up here and you're upset, right? Because we're talking about pretty women. We're talking about beautiful women. And Chloe Bailey is definitely that. And so is her sister. And I'm really just getting started with you and this misogynistic bullshit. I don't give a hell how sassy you are. You're a misogynist. And it needs to stop. Like, this is your entire brand. It's pathetic. I've, I like I I've, I, tr I really try not to talk about my peers in this way, but the way that you come at black women consistently while also emulating us all the way down to the wigs and everything else, my brother, we're tired. These niggas with these wigs are getting out of control. It, there's a thin line. Some of them are some of them are are funny, and they're not necessarily trying to make fun of us having bad hair. They're just guys who. Not Carlton Banks is an example for me, but some of them take it a bit too far. And he's one of them. Every time you turn around, oh, these hussies, these stank heifers, oh, y'all women be so this, agreeing with Saucy Santana when Saucy Santana is saying that some of you gay men are teaching us women how to be feminine. Y'all stole femininity and so, y'all selling it back to us and telling us that we wouldn't know how to be women if it wasn't for y'all and y'all are pretending to be us in the first place. Again, I want to see the picture of your mom next to Chloe since Chloe's so ugly. Because if so, your mom's open season two. Because I can't imagine that your mother looks any better than Chloe without makeup. And don't get me started on his feet.
Don't get me started. But better yet, y'all done already got me started. So let's take a look at these feet. Not only is your face unattractive, look at these feet. Like you, like you, 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 you have no room. Like none. Look at this. This is a man that showed up at parties with the Real Housewives of Atlanta and everything else, right? With these on and skirts and wigs and stockings and and and, and everything else. Help me, help me, help me. How did you have the Monica's before Monica had the Monica's? I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm not understanding. Please hit thumbs up on this video if you haven't already. And make sure you share it with somebody via text message, your group chat, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, however it is that you share videos. You know, but, th th you know, this is crazy. His feet look just like his face. This man literally, literally looks like Shaquille O'Neal's big toenail. And he's sitting up here talking about Chloe Bailey ugly without makeup. And she shouldn't have bought her fat ass face on the camera. And I mean, his entire life, he's looked like a what? I'll tell you what this character right here off the PJs was. He was a crackhead. And one thing that is very well known about Funky Deneva is he is a person who has dibbled and dabbled in booger sugar. So you talking about somebody's fat ass face when your only option in life is to be bone skinny because you got issues. Physically, you look like a California raisinette you look like you akin to Flavor Flav. Like, you know what? Flavor Flav don't never come out calling nobody ugly. You know why? Because at the very least, Flavor Flav know how to read the room. And he know he don't have room. You look like you're probably his brother. Like, what is this? You want to drag a Chloe Bailey because you think her sister's pregnant? Like, it, 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 it's, it's not even like we're bringing up a mishap of Chloe's for you to even get into this drag. You took it from, I think Haley's pregnant. I'm assuming Haley's pregnant. So let me drag her sister. But let's 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 finish and let's continue with all the crap and the mess that he's had to say. I mean, because they give an audacity away for free. All right. It's not two dollars like the pink sauce on clearance. They're giving the audacity away for free. And I just don't understand. And he's talking about her being all promiscuous. Every day he sits on this show, he talks about the different quote unquote gentleman callers that comes over his house because all he do is go down to the bar and bring a different nigga home every day. It's a difference between art and being a legitimate hoe, right? Because Janet Jackson was very promiscuous as well. I guarantee you he would never go in on her like that. And to be quite frank with you, although Beyonce is, uh, is Chloe Bailey's mentor, one person that Chloe Bailey consistently looks up to, idolizes, and tries to emulate is Janet Jackson. It's Janet Jackson. And she's done it successfully quite a few times. Janet Jackson sitting up here, you know, holding the breast and everything else. See, you know, it, old people, <laughs> there have been older people who have sang Nina Simone too. Hell, she did a Nina Simone song and performance and people damn near lost their mind as if it was her original song. No, this was sang by an old lady talking about how she wanted some sex. Like, stop it. You, you, you want to be a woman and anytime you get a chance to tear down a woman, you do so. It's pathetic. This is somebody who was literally friends with Sukiyana. But you talking about the promiscuity of Chloe Bailey, but look what Sukiyana is doing. Okay. Stay that ass to hell home. All right. That's number one. Number two. That, that video, that old ass B-roll, stop playing in our damn face. And if you really wanted to shut shit down, all you had to do the next day was be like, child, y'all know, y'all know y'all need to stop playing. Pregnant where? She's flat. I mean, there, there, there just there was just such 
a cheap, quick, dirty, easy way to shut it down. Mama is pregnant. And listen, the biggest concern is not her being pregnant in Disney. The biggest concern is her being pregnant from that goddamn loser. Mama, we was looking out for you, Haley. And you don't fuck around and let this nigga trap you. Because that's exactly what he did. He struck me as a type that put a baby in her own purpose. All right? And we was rooting for you. All right? Now, I hope that we live in a more progressive generation in society where it won't affect her Disney stuff. It probably will now because you can't be right here playing a child and you a whole damn mama. But I think the black community, and although she don't belong to us and she don't owe us shit, I just think we're grossly disappointed because we saw more for her than this damn loser that she's with. Mm. Well, ain't much to say after that, huh, Claudia? I mean, there is, but... So here's my thing. He's talking about Haley and how he's disappointed and how he, and, and his assumption that Haley Bailey is pregnant. He's, oh, we're, we're doing this because we care about you. We're doing this because we love you. We see more for you. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and call Cat. I'm going to call Cat. I'm going to call bullshit on that because. He's one of those black people and he was he he he's a black person of a particular age cuz he is 40 years old, right? And um there are some black people in 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 the family dynamic, right? Who claim to love and care for you so deeply, but it's a lie. It's a facade. It is an excuse to talk shit and to talk to you any old type of way. Comment and tell me I'm lying. Talking to Hallie any old type of way and dragging her sister to the point of rudeness due to a personality difference. Okay, you don't like Chloe Bailey's personality and you don't really appreciate how promiscuous she presents herself to be within her art. Although you sit up here and you talk about the different niggas that come through your house, sometimes two niggas a night that come through your house. Okay, so at what point is caring about Hallie And wanting the best for her. At what point does giving her sister a stray bullet and dragging her that way and calling her ugly and saying her sister has a fat ass face. And really, a lot of people thought Chloe and Haley were twins at first because they do look very much alike. At what point does you talk in any old type of way about her and her sister and what Haley should and should not do and what you feel like you're owed from Haley in her pregnancy? You being entitled to the point where you're rude and you calling it love. A lot of black people have a hard time distinguishing the difference between love and being talked to like you're a piece of shit and people talking to you any old type of way. And that's exactly the shit. We doing this because we care for you, girl. But your sister ugly as hell. She shouldn't have bought her fat ass face on camera. And don't nobody believe it. And she ain't no gangster. When truth be told, when that just hilarious and T.S. Madison shit was going on, and we were talking about we don't want to be called sis. You was bending over backwards to take up for your, your sis, a fellow penis holder, T.S. Madison, an XY chromosome. You were bending over backwards to take up for that person. So what's so wrong with Chloe taking up for her sister when Lord knows you bend over forwards, backwards, and any other way you can, skinny boy, to, to take up for your fellow brethren? In the community, and that's not even blood. I'm I'm trying to understand what's going on. I'm I'm sure I'm trying to understand what's wrong with her taking up and what's and what's gangster. Because here's the here's the bottom line. At the end of the day, funky, you saying Chloe, you're not a gangster. We're not buying it. Chloe was never trying to sell that she was a gangster. All she said was. She was on her live talking about her nails and her outfit for that evening. And people were bringing up her sister and asking personal questions about her sister, which was inappropriate at the end of the day. If her sister wants to talk about her pregnancy or lack thereof, she will. And she said, listen, keep my sister's name out your mouth. That's nothing that's perceived as gangster about that. But I'll tell you this, when you end up talking about T.S. Madison, that big ass man with a dick and balls and titties that has feminine pronouns, you don't come off as a gangster either. Baby, you 80 pounds soaking wet. Nobody's afraid of you. That don't stop you from taking up for the people that you're in community with. Nigga. Like, what, what are we doing? What are we talking about? Do you think somebody's scared?
scared of you? He talking about, oh, Chloe's Miss Sweet Home Alabama. She's trying to come off his game. So no, she's not. And there's nothing wrong with giving a simple blip, a simple blip, a blurb about leave my sister alone. Okay. Keep her name out your mouth. Okay. Thank you. Moving on. That's nothing gangster about I don't have to have a pistol or threaten a pistol with you to tell you to leave my sister the hell alone. The same way I'm sure you ain't packing a damn thing. And I'm sure if somebody catch you in the middle of the street with nothing on you, it wouldn't take nothing more than a purse with three nickels in it to knock you the hell over. And he said up here, oh, the shit going on with Sexy red and my coochie pink, my booty old brown. Oh, that's too much. That's too sexual. Us, oh, we women need to, we need to present a different thing. And at the end of the day, some of these women who have these hypersexual, hypersexual personas that they exploit, he voices his issue with how hypersexual they are and everything they're promoting in between. And then when you, and, and, uh, and, and maybe, and some of them, maybe sexy women too, right? Like whether it be BBL, natural, whatever the case is. Then you catch a woman who is sexy, who's quirky. She's not talking about her coochie hole and her booty hole or whatever. She's doing the classical music thing, right? Talking about intimacy without being raunchy. Then you catch these sexual, you know, bodies and personalities and, and it's not hypersexual and you have a problem with that too. So, you know, like what 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 is it really? Again, this is the same man who called Blue Ivy ugly because he thought it was funny. It's shits and giggles for him when it comes to black babies and black young women and black women in general. Because that's all he's ever wanted to be his entire life. It's the envy for me. It's the hypocrisy in maintaining the secrecy of personal choices or decisions. However, we haven't gotten to that point of the clip yet. Let's go. I don't want to talk about this about now. I just I had to say the shit. It's sad. I mean, it's just it's what we're feeling. I mean, no, that's what you're feeling, and you're you're entitled to that. But I'm just I guess I take a more uh, uh, sensitive role. Feel uh, jab at this. I mean, it's her decision. We can be mad all they want, but who the fuck are we to say what we that's should be? True. That's like, true. like, someone can't tell you you should date or Al or me. That's not, we would be the. So right now they're talking about Halle Bailey's alleged rumored pregnancy. Defensive, highly defensive. That's none of your goddamn business. And if she's with, if she likes them, hey, I don't approve either, but I'm not her mother or sister or family. You know what I'm saying? And if she's happy, which she seems like she is, I just feel like when we talk about pregnancy and I, you know, I, I just feel like we got to be real careful with that. You know what I mean? That's her business. And people have miscarriages. And with all the evilness out there, and people be wishing bad on you, I wouldn't tell you motherfuckers either. I really would not. I don't it's, think just, it's, it's just sad, though, right? Because well, it's a difference between not telling us and lying, Claudia. You, no, not no, it's the same. you can't, you can't, as a talent, bold face lie. Yes, to you your, I, well, you, if that's how you run your brand, that's fine. I'm saying I don't want to support a talent. I don't want to spend my hard earned money supporting a talent who lies to me. Or who Al, is have you ever to lied to the public about anything? We all have. You know what I'm saying? Like he's talking about. I don't want to spend my hard earned money. What 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 money did you give to her? Like what my, what what concert have you went to? You're not. And if anybody's talking to see, this is the part where it gets really interesting. Al, Al, does anybody know? Anybody comment before I spill it? Before I spill it. Does anybody know Al Reynolds' history? Al Reynolds was married to Star Jones years ago. However, it's quite obvious that Al um, is not a completely heterosexual man. He's not. Everybody's lied to them, especially people of their magnitude who have been in the public eye for two or two plus decades. Al was married to a woman lied to the public about being straight, and he ultimately got a divorce from his wife because he wanted some dick. So you talking about you can't just lie to the public. At the end of the day, neither you nor Funky will ever be able to conceive children. So for you to try to dictate how a pregnant woman should act, 
when and how she should come out and tell you that she's pregnant because you feel like you're entitled to that. It's crazy to me. It's crazy to me, especially because what happens when we sense that there's a little something special in somebody's tank? Whether you be hetero or whatever, you'd be like, is, is such and such into men or is such is such and such into the same sex? Don't out the, uh, don't out them. They have the right to keep it to themselves. Oh, oh, y'all have the right to keep secrets. It's the hypocrisy for me. It's the hypocrisy and maintaining secrecy of personal choices or decisions for me. Because if y'all decide that y'all want to keep a secret about your sexuality, something that we can see, because basically their, their excuse here is, but if we can see the baby bump, then don't lie. Just tell us. We can see that some of y'all are sweet, but y'all still want to sit up here and lie about it and say, oh, but they have the right to keep it to themselves. What's up with the, the double standards are, are, are crazy, bizarre egregious, audacious, too much. But again, they truly do feel like, and especially if you're, if you're a woman that's a part of the LGBT community, so, some, and, it, and it's not all, it's some, right? Because some people disassociate from the community because they see the nastiness and the hypocrisy and the fact that the whole movement has been hijacked in its entirety. But that's a whole nother video for a whole nother day. But some of them feel like they're part of the upper echelon and they feel like they can tell the heterosexual community, people who aren't a part of their community, what they can and cannot be offended by. While telling us how we need to respect them, but we don't get it in return. I just feel like it's very easy for us to sit. I'm talking about a picture, Claudia. You can't know, say, I'm, I'm not saying. pregnant, look at me, and that's a bold-faced lie. We have a right to be offended if you're going to play with my intelligence. It's a bold-faced lie. No? You're not You're not offended when someone bold-faced lies to you not in the public? Not about something as sensitive as that. Have you ever yeah, She should have stayed home. She should have stayed home. The pregnant woman should have stayed home. First of all, she was in her home. DDG got on live and she didn't know he was on live, right? So how dare you say that because you think a woman is pregnant, right? And I've been mistaken as pregnant plenty of times when I've when my weight has went up and down, right? In person, on YouTube, in everything. How dare you tell me that because you assume I'm pregnant and because I'm not coming out and confirming or denying it, then I should have stayed home. As a man, the misogyny, from the rainbow flag, dick holders, is crazy to me. It's crazy, right? How much sense does that make? Y'all are- You can't, you, the, 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 I think the thing that, I, I think it's one thing to not tell us, I can respect that. But there's another for you to visibly be pregnant and be like, I'm not, we, we see you. Like, what are we doing right. here? We see it. So then, so then let me ask. And they also say, outing men is so dangerous. Sometimes it's obvious. We see them down at the gay bars and cross-dressing and so on. We see you. But it's, 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 it's the selective application of the rules and expectations for me. That's what it is for me you this okay what's the appropriate response then i clearly see that the sky is blue and you're telling me it's red and then what's you're going to show me a response? picture you're going to show me a picture to support your claim i just feel like we tend to pick and choose when it's okay to keep things yourself and she shouldn't be outed until she wants to tell us herself. she should have stayed home no she should not she should stay home to appease if you're not ready to make a public statement about your pregnancy, stay home, stay hidden. Otherwise, like, listen to these sassy niggas. Listen to these niggas. And, and they get mad when we buck up against them and we're phobic. Well, then what are you? Celebrate you and let us, you know, keep you being the wonderful talent that you are, whether you're pregnant or not. 
Elias. Like the wonderful let us celebrate just come out be forthright and let us enjoy it and let us let us celebrate you and let us you know keep you being the wonderful talent that you are whether you're pregnant to not tell us i can respect that but there's another for you to visibly be pregnant and be like i'm not we we see you like what are we doing right. here we see it so then so then let me ask you this. Okay. What's the appropriate response then? I clearly see that the sky is blue and you're telling me it's red. And then What's you're gonna the show me a picture. Response? You're gonna show me a picture to support your claim. And so here we have We got two college educated men, one of which is a PR strategist, right? So he is actually a professional in deceiving the public. Um, he does work with a, a, a few high profile celebrities and has given away suggestions to Beyonce, her team, Lizzo, you name it, whatever the case is. So for him to act like, don't lie to the public, tell them everything. And it's not even a matter of lying. It's a matter of withholding information indefinitely or until you're ready. Period. Period. And that's, that is actually, and, and it's really about deceiving the public and having them look over here when really what's going on is here, but you want to take the attention off of something. This is what Al does for a living. He is a PR strategist for high profile talent. Hello? Hello? And his snickers and his giggles when Funky was calling Chloe ugly. Let's 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 go back to that. I just want to make sure you all catch this. You are Miss Preppy Ashley from the suburbs. Then you came out, you was being all promiscuous and shit. And then now you're trying to be a gangster. None of it is fucking believable, girl. None of it is believable. And I'm probably going to catch a lot of backlash for this. And without that makeup, she ain't cute. She should have never showed up on that camera with that fat ass face without no makeup. She ain't cute. You're not believable. You're so goddamn... And I, I, I'm really unsure as to where Al is laughing at. I mean, I, I just... I don't get it. Like, these are old ass men. And Al is nearly a decade older than Funky. So he's he's about 50. Funky's about 40. And Chloe is 24 goddamn years old. And he's snickering and hopping on the bandwagon. And I feel like this really messed up an opportunity for Al Reynolds. Good luck ever getting close to anybody that is affiliated with Beyonce. Because on some real stuff, I can say because I follow Al and I listen to a lot of what he says, he is a good PR brand strategist. But he sat here and he let these snickers and giggles. And because, again, listen, LGBT community, they don't even be understanding what the hell is going on. They come into a room. They hear two sentences or, or or whatever, and they change their entire mindset and just stick with they with, with with the people that they're in community with. So I don't understand what's wrong with Chloe taking up for her sister when they blindly follow after one another just to stick together, which is why some people consider it to be a gang, and they all pounce on you at one time and say you're homophobic, you're transphobic, you're this, you're that. No, I just disagree with your shit. You have a warped sense of reality. And you feel like you can say anything to and about black women and we're supposed to accept it. And when we tell you what makes us uncomfortable, what we deem as disrespectful, you disregard it and you want to argue with us. However, comma, when y'all tell us what y'all find to be disrespectful and what y'all want us to stop doing, we're supposed to drop everything and learn 18 new terms and terminologies and respect that otherwise we're phobic. You want a certain type of respect, but you're unwilling to give it. And listen, the buck stops here. Y'all need to stay out of women's business, number one. I know y'all some y'all want to sashay and, and be one and, and wear these tight pants and, and wear y'all wigs and y'all sandals with y'all crusty feet. But y'all will never be us. Ever. And talking shit about us? 
to, to, to put us in our place, just like the heterosexual men do. It's, it, 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 it's not going to change anything. It's not. It's not. And one thing I realized is y'all stick together. And sometimes just like in that Blue Ivy clip that I was showing y'all, you had Funky Daniva, T.S. Madison, and she is my girl, although I just don't appreciate the way she responded to what happened when Funky Daniva called Blue Ivy ugly. You had Tiffany Pollard, a.k.a. New York from Flavor of Love, sitting up there laughing at how he's disrespecting a black child who will grow up to be a black woman. Laughing. Some black women have given men like Funky Daniva too much room and too much leniency to talk crap and to talk mess and to disrespect black women because they're sassy. See, it's easy to sit up and listen to another woman talk about another woman's wig, hair, or lipstick or, or how kept or unkept she is. But when it comes to an old fart like a Funky Deneva or an Al Reynolds, you can't teach these old dog new tricks. Funky Deneva, again, has built his brand off of the disrespect and the mockery and the degradation of Black women, period. And he's been doing this his entire life. So to try to get him to stop now is almost pointless. But he's became this comfortable because he's been doing this for decades. And so at some point... You might have a gay friend or a gay cousin or a gay brother or a gay whatever in your vicinity, but don't let them sit up there and talk shit about your own people, about black women. Because it, it's going to do nothing but embolden them to never stop and to get increasingly worse. And now we're trying to tell them, hey, this is wrong. Hey, don't do that. Hey, we're uncomfortable. They're like, oh, oh well, girl, well, we are protected class now. And well, her wig was tore. What you want me to say? She was ugly. I, I saw a handful. I saw like five men agreeing. Well, he is right. Chloe is ugly without that makeup. Her face is fat. She is ugly as hell. And it's like, are you looking at the man who said this? I mean, I think that you are a part of a certain community that you haven't admitted to yet. Have you? Because if you're just agreeing with this man who's attacking women, and you're not a stand-up nigga at all. The clip, the clip in reference, by the way. Beyonce, you know, say the ugly than the motherfucker. Beyonce, fine as fuck. Blue you know, Ivory, ugly too. Oh, here she go. Wide as a skill. Here she go. Here she go. Hold on. Security. Hold on. Security. Hold on. Half of y'all, half of y'all in here sitting next to a homegirl with an ugly daughter. Bitch, don't do that. You look don't down. do that. Don't do that. Don't do it. You look down. Don't do that. Now here's the. And so to sit up here and 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 laugh at this mess is crazy to me because one thing I've always seen is anytime topics come up that an LGT person doesn't agree with. Or that they don't like, oh, they don't make light and they don't just giggle it off. They sit, they get uncomfortable and they say, no, that's not all right. Let's set a boundary. I'm offended by that. That's phobic. That's why there's so much violence going on in the community, blah, blah, blah. They, they, they give you their rundown of how and why that's wrong. They don't laugh it off at all. Us women need to keep that same energy. They cry hurt every day with bullets that weren't even sent for them. You can say some people in the community do X, Y, Z. You'll catch all of them standing up and acting like you phobic. And really it wasn't meant for or about them. But one thing about it is they stand in solidarity. Meanwhile, we stand off to the side, giggling off their disrespect and wondering why it intensifies and it gets exponentially worse. Stop taking the disrespect lightly because our rights our rights to even say anything without these niggas trying to put, well, I mean, it's bad enough that we got niggas in our own, that, that aren't a part, niggas that we're dating and entertaining and that we're friends with and, and even just niggas walking down the street trying to quote unquote, put us in our place because they don't think that we have the right to speak up or, or articulate or verbalize disrespect. Now you got niggas in, I'm not your type and you're not my type and you trying to put me in my place about what? And I know your mother didn't look better than Chloe, baby. So what are we really talking about? 
Mm. We letting a nigga like this run us down and tell us that Chloe Bailey is ugly when she come on camera with no makeup and her edges ain't laid down. And so I came on live with my no makeup today. And my, I, I, hell, I, I, I could be ugly to him. Who knows? And I really do wish he would call me ugly. I really do wish he would call me ugly because that would be laughable as hell. But he also complains about women who wear too much makeup, who get too much surgery, and who promote who are problematic and promote all of the wrong, wrong things. All of those things in which Chloe Bailey is not. A very unproblematic, sweet girl focused on her career. Then had the nerve to say, that's why your shit ain't selling. Very condescending. And then you pretend that you're doing all this in the name of caring about Hallie. And really, you just want an excuse to be nasty because that's who you are. You're a miserable man that needed to get Botox to try to look slightly normal. And you still look crazy. And you look like a California Raisinette. You look like Flavor Flav's blood brother. You have no room. Inauthentic. That's why your shit ain't selling. All right? That's number one. Number two, I don't like people playing in our face, right? The girl is clearly pregnant. She's pregnant, all right? I analyzed that video. It's one thing to have the big piece on. She was waddling, and then when she went to put her arm around the girl, the, the dress draped over the stomach. You could visibly see the damn bump, all right? She didn't shut down shit showing these old ass videos. If she wanted to shut something down, she'd have stayed her ass to hell home. All right, that's number one. Number two, that, that video, that old ass B-roll, stop playing in our damn face. And if you really wanted to shut shit down, all you had to do the next day was be like, child, y'all know y'all know y'all need to stop playing. Pregnant where? She's flat. I mean, they're, they're, they're just, there was just such a cheap, quick, dirty, easy way to shut it down. Mama is pregnant. And listen, the biggest concern is not her being pregnant in Disney. The biggest concern is her being pregnant from that goddamn loser. Mama, we was looking out for you, Haley. And you don't fuck around and let this nigga trap you. Because that's exactly what he did. He struck me as the type that put a baby in her own purpose. All right? And we was rooting for you. All right? Now, I hope that we live in a more progressive generation in society where it won't affect her Disney stuff. It probably will now because you can't be right here playing a child and you a whole damn mama. But I think the black community, and although she don't belong to us and she don't owe us shit, I just think we're grossly disappointed because we saw more for her than this damn loser that she's with. Mm. Well, ain't much to say after that, huh, Claudia? I mean, there is, but I don't want to talk about this. About now, I just I had like, to say the shit. It's sad. I mean, it's just it's what we're feeling. I mean, no, that's what you're feeling, and you're you're entitled to that. But I'm just, I, I guess, I take a more uh, uh, sensitive role, feel uh, jab at this. I mean, it's her decision. We can be mad all they want, but who the fuck are we to say what we that's should true. be? That's true. That's like, true. Like someone can't tell you who should date or Al or me. That's not. We would be defensive, highly defensive. That's none of your goddamn business. And if she's with, if she likes them, hey, I don't approve either, but I'm not her mother or her sister or her family. You know what I'm saying? And if she's happy, which she seems like she is, I just feel like when we talk about pregnancy and I, you know, I, I just feel like we got to be real careful with that. You know what I mean? That's her business and people have miscarriages and with all the evilness out there and people be wishing bad on you, I wouldn't tell you motherfuckers either. I really would not. I don't it's think just, so. it's it's just sad though, right? Because well, it's the difference between not telling us and lying, Claudia. You no, no, it's the same. You can't you can't as a talent boldface lie yes, to you can. your. I, I, well, I've literally heard Al suggest that people lie, or strategically lie, right? Play with their words, play semantics, and lie to the public as a means of a strategy, so that they don't have to come out and speak about certain things. So again. This is one of these situations where you have the flag and you have 
the 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 unspoken solidarity and well i'm gonna stand by you because whatever because that that kind of wasn't the tone that al was given at the beginning of this segment and now he's trying to come down and say Haley just she just need to come out and tell us that she's pregnant i don't care how she feels tell us you pregnant and you don't you, these niggas will never understand what it feels like to carry life the stresses of it as a celebrity and again, it doesn't matter whether she tells us or not, she's going to catch shit. If she is pregnant, it's, oh, you're not married. You had a child out of wedlock, whatever. Oh, you chose this loser. If she's not pregnant, it's, well, you're still with the loser and break up with DVD. Because a lot of people don't even respect calling them D DDG. They call them DVD. But she can't win for losing, and 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 pregnancy is a stressful time. So you got niggas like you need to tell us, don't lie. I saw your bump. You, I I literally, if y'all don't understand how to, I don't know how the man's bodies work as far as weight gain, right? But I know I've set into my woman weight, my grown woman weight, and I've been asked if 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 I'm pregnant several times, and it's not a question that you always want to answer, but when the answer is no. And I just gained a little weight. It's annoying. And sometimes you want to say no. And other times you just want to death stare. And other times you just want to avoid the situation. They will never understand the complexities of this shit. Why? Even, a, e e even down to impregnating someone. Will they ever? And sometimes you don't want to tell people because once people find out, you might lose the child for whatever reason. And then you've got to deal with seeing people two, three, four months. Later. How's the baby? Where's the baby? And there is no baby. Oh, I'm and you don't want to go through that every time you see somebody because you told everybody and their mama that asked you or that felt entitled to the answer of if you're pregnant or not. You don't want to go and relive that feeling every time. Hello? You got these niggas up here telling women, niggas that's not even willing to go out and impregnate women, not in a natural way, because that's not what they're attracted to. Telling heterosexual women that ain't they type what they need to be doing with their pregnancies. Saucy Santana ass niggas. Make it make some sense. And then they they doubling down on it too. I, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you if that's how you run your brand, that's fine. I'm saying I don't want to support a talent. I don't want to spend my hard earned money supporting a talent who lies to me. But you support closeted men because you feel like the rulers don't out them. Is it not? Oh, okay. I, 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 I. Right there, that one, don't tell me that one no more. That one no more. Nigga, listen. Good morning. Or who, have you ever lied to the public about anything? We all have. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like it's very... And Claudia, no, he didn't lie to the public about some things. Spending all that time married to that woman, knowing damn well he was interested in men. What are we doing? What are we... What are we, we being selective with what we want to remember and who we want to, uh, you know, uh, apply the rules to? Huh? 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 Mm. Easy for us to I'm sit. I'm talking about a picture, Claudia. You can't I say I'm, I'm not saying. pregnant. Look at me, and that's a bold face. Lie. She never said I'm not pregnant. Look at me. What she did was she posted a picture and said last night with my sis, and her stomach was flat. Implication, maybe. A lot of people feel like she was implying a response. But a lot of times, people be reading into things that 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 these celebrity posts. This is a parasocial relationship. This is a woman that you don't even know. 
You ain't never been in the same room with her or laid eyes on her in real time. Make it make sense. I, we have a right to be offended if you're going to play with my intelligence. It's a bold-faced lie. No, you're not. You're not offended when someone bold faced lies to you. Not in the about public? something as sensitive as that. Have you ever? Yeah, she should have stayed home. She should have stayed home. Y'all, you can't. You. The, 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 I think the thing that I, I think it's one thing to not tell us. I can respect that. Tell all of your closeted friends that don't want to be outed when somebody knows that they're into something else and they're perpetrating a fraud and they're on the down low. Tell all of them to stay home too. How about that? Because there's no way that you can have your cake and eat it too and say. My friends have the right to have secrets about their decisions and no one should out them. But then tell Haley she got to dish all her stuff. Save it. Tell all your DL men, and I know you know a lot of them, tell, tell them to stay home, okay? And, and, we're, and, we're, and we're fair. I'm sure you'll call me phobic. I'm sure a couple of your friends will come through here and say I'm phobic too. So what does that make you? Because the term phobic is lame to me. I ain't finna call, sit up here and call you heterophobic, but you definitely have a disdain for straight folk, for black women, and people who 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 live the lifestyle that you've always wanted to live yourself. That's why you went your whole life dressed up as a woman that could have possibly, I, I don't know, were you trying to dress like your mother the whole time you were wearing wigs and lipsticks and sandals? I, 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 I'm just, I'm... I'm I'm truly just trying to gain some understanding about your audacity. It was today. gone. Let me just go in the bush and weep. Let me just go in the bush and weep. I just have to go in the bush and weep. Really. I, I don't understand. I swear to God, I don't understand. But there's another for you to visibly be pregnant and be like, I'm not. We we see you. Like, what are we doing here? We see it. We see your gay friends, too. I mean, because if you want to, here's the thing, right? I get it. Like, I'm talking about sexuality. You want to so openly and so boldly, without holding back anything, speak about pregnancy and womanhood and, and all of those feelings, all of which you know nothing about. So I'm going to speak about yours. I'm going to speak about your community. You're speaking about people and things and experiences that you will never ultimately be a part of. But I'm going to point out the hypocrisy because you're a hypocrite, both you and Al, a hypocrite. And you came out, you came at this bold with your chest and you feel like you have the right to speak on women and women's business and women don't have the right to respond or speak about you. And the bullshit and the contradictory shit that you're saying all up and through your word salad and mumbo jumbo. I don't give a damn. Quiet is kept. Nessa girl, get the hell off my line with this shit. How about it? In the words of you. So then, so then let me ask you this. Okay. What's the appropriate response then? I clearly see that the sky is blue and you're telling me it's red. And then What's you're going to the show appropriate me a picture. Response? You're going to show me a picture to support your claim. I just feel like we tend to pick and choose when it's okay to keep things to yourself and she shouldn't be outed until she wants to tell us herself. And she should have stayed home. No, she should not. She shouldn't stay home to appease you. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? You can't have it all wet. Claudia, you can't be pregnant. And Thank God for Claudia, but damn, I wish they had more than one woman on here because it's, it's just always these two, these two... Oh, these two feminine men, these two feminine XY chromosomes up against one XX and she be trying to keep it together and she's the host at the same time. So she don't even have enough time to argue with them because she's got to keep this show together. But Lord knows the misogyny of them coming down is just ridiculous. And we see it and be like, I'm not. Maybe she's scared. Maybe she's scared. Y'all be putting neg I know people who won't say nothing about their baby. Baby, like well, she was that damn concerned about their baby. You, you, right. you know what? This why sometimes right. I be trying to have another woman on this show because it's men speaking on a woman's her situation. Her, her lying. Girl, a lie this lie ain't got nothing a to do with gender. A lie is a lie. And I'm listen, we ain't gonna get nowhere with this man. Said pregnancy ain't got nothing to do with gender. Mm. 
All right. These girls are going okay. to the next thing. Have a baby and then come back. <laughs> Tease the All next right, thing. All right, so lively debate. That's why y'all caught me up. Oh, y'all, I actually ended up catching this live. And there was actually a little more that went into it outside of this. They went on commercial break and then they came back and they were still... Um, Funky still had more that that he wanted to say, and and it's 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 just a mess. I just don't understand how an ugly man like this can do this. I I, I just don't. <laughs> anyway. Mm, 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 mm. Too much. Um, shout out to Lovely Star for joining the membership. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I do appreciate it so much. Uh, this comment says he's talking about Chloe, but men will be seen in public with her with no makeup at, at all. Where's Funky's man at? He can't even get a dude to take him to Walmart or show, <laughs> or show off a proudly. So this is the, the quote unquote uh, I want to see, you know what? I don't want to see what Funky look like when he gets up in the morning. Y'all hit thumbs up on the video. We got 460, 470 people in the building, only 200 thumbs up. Come on now. Come on now. Don't make me go get Tokyo Tony. Why can't we get the likes up? Why? Why? Come on now. Get the likes up. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Otherwise, I'm going to send you some pink sauce. All right. Um, I have an update on that. I need to give y'all a little later today. But yeah, this is the supposed ugly face he's talking about. She's ugly and her face is fat. Oh, okay, okay girl. Okay. She's ugly and her face is fat. All right. Okay. You know, I, I don't think that I look like Chloe Bailey. I don't think that I look like her. However, for me, artist-wise, there's some relatability. Right, you don't see a lot of women with locks, not young women with locks in the music industry, in the modeling industry in general. So if she ugly, then I guess I'm ugly when I wake up too, because I think she look better than me. You know, this is me with no makeup. This is me with no makeup. So I guess I guess I'm ugly too, right? I, I, and not that I give a hell with with a a, 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 a raisin that like funky thinks. I, I could give a damn. You know, it might hurt my feelings if it was somebody that was halfway attractive, but a, a, a funky? It, again, it's the misogyny for me. It's the misogyny for me. Let's get into uh, a tweet because actually both Chloe Bailey and Hallie Bailey have responded to this situation. And here's what they have said. Let me go ahead and show y'all the screen. And thank y'all for supporting and subscribing to the channel as well for more syrup in the form of Black news and celebrity entertainment. I truly enjoy bringing y'all information and my commentary. So here's what Chloe said. Chloe said, LOL, people be so mad at your happiness. Get help. And Hallie said, they need help immediately. So, you know... Uh, uh, again, these are unproblematic, girl. They, they don't argue with people online, right? You have some rappers or some female musicians, and all they do is stay caught up in controversy or, you know, overly sexual mess. We saw Supiana peeing on herself with the rose not too long ago. Um, she got a Henny and a Plan B song, a song about eating his A, eating his A. Like any all, all of the modern day gimmicks, Chloe is not a part of that, and neither nor is Hallie. So him, you know, picking a fight or going, and he seemed very triggered. Talk about we, I, I, we care about you. That's why I drug your sister and called her ugly and fat and da da da. And you're ugly and skinny. So what? I don't know if you thought saying she had a fat face was a read, but she also got a banging body. And you're skinny. And I heard you say the other day, if I didn't tell y'all I got fillers, y'all wouldn't know. No, actually, we would. You went from looking like a malnourished crackhead to looking like a crackhead that eats five times a week. 
it was obvious that you got some Botox and some fillers before you got them teeth done by Dr. Heavenly. I don't know if you think we're dumb. I, I, you know, you do. I, Like you're getting whole medical procedures just to look remotely human and you still look a fucking mess. It's coming from this, this thing right here. Uh, uh, somebody help me, help. I need help, please. This, talking about Chloe Bailey, make it, uh, help me understand. Help me. Now let's take a look at this real quick and tell me this not what he looked like. Talking about Chloe. Tell me. Talking about Chloe ugly without makeup. Baby, I don't care if you wear makeup Hair, sandals, shoes. I, I I wouldn't be able to tell you who's more attractive. I think all of y'all are on the same baseline. You, Flavor Flav, and Donald Trump. All on the same level. There is no totem pole. All of y'all are on the same level of negative 53 in the area and arena of attractiveness. So, you know, I... Brother... It's, I'm sorry. It's giving misery. It's giving the business some misery. Let's take another look at these sandals again. This is you showing up when you were um, dressing like a woman at the time. Um, because I don't know where your mind was or what state of delusion you were in. But you were cross-dressing and things like that with uh, masculine pronouns and stuff like that. And that's a girl. And um, this is what you showed up at somebody party with. And I'm so glad somebody got a picture of this. So I don't know what part of your um, better self you're unlocking. You see every week you unlocking your better self, but this was giving nasty and upset. And I know that they've been coming down to Miami and feeding the sharks coke and the, 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 the animals and the wildlife is on drugs. And I, I don't know if you on drugs with the wildlife or if you found you a baby shark do, 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 to cut open and get you a little line of coke. But it's given, leave the children alone. Leave, you know, and, and not to call Chloe a child, but compared to you, she is a child. It's about time for you to sign up for your AARP card, brother. And especially by the looks of these goddamn feet. It's time for you to sign up for that card, boo. Leave the children alone. Please. Please. Okay? So, uh... If you, I, I, what's happening? It's too much. Let me let y'all see the rest of these pictures here. Of this, of the way he, he, he be, he was, he was dressed and called it cute. What else we got? Like where you here? And he go from, from this to this, talk about if I didn't tell y'all, y'all couldn't tell I got some work done. You busy getting work done and you're still looking like you need work. You need work. It don't make no sense. Look at this. What's this? What's this? Again. This is a man where his brand was built off of being intentionally, quote unquote, ugly off of the backs of black women under the guise of mocking or trolling them all while emulating them. And that was the easiest route and the best route for him because he's already ugly as hell. He couldn't pretend to be a pretty woman, a well put together woman, a wealthy woman. He had to pretend to be like a, the broke bum that he was. And the only reason he's not, quote unquote, broke right now 
is because he did build his he did successfully build his brand off of talking sh about black women. Again, this is the same man that called Blue Ivy ugly. This is the same man that feels like it's okay for DL men and gay people in general to keep secrets about their identity and their lifestyle and their choices. But it's the hypocrisy in maintaining the secrecy of personal choices and decisions for me. People aren't entitled to know someone's sexual orientation because that's called outing. But you feel like you're entitled to know if a woman is pregnant or not and that she needs to come out and give you some sort of formal explanation thank y'all for hitting thumbs up on the video i do appreciate it and then we want we i also need to get into the sexy woman expectations because I think I touched on it, but I don't think I explained it in the best way. Hey, thanks for letting me keep you connected and in the know with what's happening in the black world. Don't forget to smash on that like button for support and for more black news. So what are the sexy woman personality ex expectations, right? When we talk about sexy women and their expectations, y'all get tired of seeing the twerking all the time. Y'all get tired of seeing cheeks all the time. Y'all get tired of the ratchet talk, the low vibrational suggestions and, and, and lifestyles that they're pushing on whatever generation or whoever their target audience is. Y'all get tired of that. And then when you meet a personality that's quirky, that's different, that you just don't understand or you don't get, maybe, maybe, maybe you don't understand her personality funky because you're old. You're old. You was, you was finna graduate high school when she was born. You're old. You were using floppy disks for your book reports when she was born. You're old. And so for you to complain about all the modern day irritants, all of the things that irritate uh, us about the, the, the music and the entertainment industry present day, for you to complain about those things. And then when you get something that's the opposite, but you just don't get it. And everybody's personality isn't for everybody, right? Y'all, you complain about the woman's behavior. You fail miserably at being a woman. I mean, you your whole life you've been trying to be a woman. You fail miserably. And then when you get a little quirky, different, unproblematic behavior, you drag her to hell like this? Seriously? I'm telling you, this is a nigga with a wig that enjoys talking about mimicking and mocking women at their worst. And, it, and it's really given he fetishizes the worst in black women. And he likes talking about it. And so therefore he's going to flip flop between the different viewpoints. In one breath, he's going to say, oh, this is too much. I don't like it. Sexy red, coochie pink, booty hole brown is too much. Then he'll turn around and get the opposite and make it the worst. So you can't please him. You can't please him. He fetishizes the worst. And again, y'all hussies, a, a lot of his 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 dialogue on Fox Soul, on TGIF is y'all heifers, y'all big, fat, ugly heifers beating y'all kids, hot dogs, y'all broke women, and da-da-da. Ain't no white people watching Fox Soul. You're talking about us. You're talking about, and, and it's just always, now Now imagine women go around talking about, oh, you you black men. No, you don't, because you don't paint everybody. And, and so he can put it under the guise of, oh, it's just jokes. I was just joking. Every week, every day, it gets tiring. Imagine going into work and your boss being like, oh, you're, you're black, or, you're, or, or, or whoever you, and it's just always a derogatory joke about you every day to the point where you can clock it. It's not a joke. And, 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 and it quiet as his cat. Quiet as his cat. There's a little bit of truth to every joke. And, and the frequency of the joke makes the difference. The frequency of the jokes make the difference. And I can guarantee you anytime I click on watching Fox Soul, watching TGIF, I know by default I'm going to hear five insults to and about Black women from Funky. By default, I am. That's too much for it to just be a joke. That's how you really feel. And the hypocrisy, and, and, and it's just too one-sided for me. Like I said, members of the LGBT community, they stick together. 
They don't laugh at things that they find to be disrespectful. And women, all I ask of you in this day and age that we're living in, stop sitting by and giggling because you feel uncomfortable or you feel like, oh, he says see, he one of us because he don't fit in with the niggas. So he's sitting over here with us because he's your gay best friend or cousin or whoever. Stop laughing at the disrespect and the jokes and them talking about women's shoes and heels. Stop. Because it does nothing but provide a certain level of comfort and it emboldens them to continue and get increasingly and exponentially worse. That's what it does. Stop standing by for all of this. So, you know, this is interesting. Him saying that Chloe thought that she's a gangster. Funky, you're not a gangster either, but you still take up for your community. And there's nothing wrong with Chloe taking up for her sister. Hello. You would want to see sisters sticking together instead of arguing. And he has a problem with that. And I think that in general, Funky just likes bucking up against women because, you know, he just, he just, he wants to be one. And he's been terribly emulating one for nearly his entire life. His entire life. And like I said, since Chloe is so ugly, um, Funky, what your mother look like? See, because you a man and you 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 like always making sure the scales are tipped. Well, make him be ugly. And I'm talking, show me, matter of fact, show me an auntie. Show me a sister. Show me a cousin, right? Because a, a, a lot of times what happens is when men come for women, you, you got to find uh, uh, the, the, the same sex within the family to actually get them together. And at this point, I don't want Chloe to fight nobody. And I don't want nobody in your family to fight Chloe. But I do want to see a side-by-side -side comparison of a woman in your family that looks better than Chloe without no makeup on or at all. Nearly as successful. Nearly with a, a banging body. Them thick hips, them thunder thighs, that flat stomach, that Coca-Cola shape. She's a household name and her name doesn't imply that she or her attitude or her life's disposition stinks. Whereas though your name implies everything I just stated. Let's talk about it. I'm just curious. Stay out of women's business. And like I said, ladies, let's stop emboldening and, 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 and letting these men get so emboldened and entitled. And, and, and it's crazy because like I said, when we have a boundary or we voice a level of discomfort, they don't respect it. Misogynist men within the LGBT community, right? If you're not a misogynist man in the LGBT community, then I'm not talking to you or about you. I'm talking about misogynist men. So please don't jump out here taking a bullet that wasn't meant for you and leaving me paragraphs and calling me phobic. Then again, I don't give a damn. But I will point out the facts. When we have a boundary or we voice a level of discomfort, misogynist men within the LGBT community, they do not respect it. They want to argue with us about how we shouldn't feel that way, but refuse to accept that thought process when we offer it back to them. It's almost as if they have the right. They have the right to take offense to, to, to us and what we're doing and what we're saying. But we don't have the right to take offense when it comes to the way that they talk about or act towards us. And it doesn't matter what their sexual orientation is, a man... An XX will always try to find a way to put a woman in their place. And we've got to stop making them feel so comfortable disrespecting us. This is a 40-year-old man with golf club feet who sat up here and dragged Chloe and said he did it because he really cares about her sister. He didn't give any constructive criticism about Chloe and her career and maybe how he feels like she needs to cover up or 
what I, he didn't give constructive criticism because constructive criticism is a level of care. He did a straight up dirty drag, calling her ugly and trying to minimalize or, or minimize, I'm sorry, her self-esteem and where she is with her career. And truth be told, Funky been trying to do this damn there since this girl been born. And she's richer, makes more money, and is a household name while he is not. So he can sit up here and act like her shit ain't selling all he wants to. But I guarantee you, his first YouTube video wasn't selling either. Because nobody's first YouTube video adjacent to my comparison, my Venn diagram here is Chloe's first album, which was a debut album, which was amazing, by the way. But so what? It didn't go right away. Neither did his first, second, third, or fourth, or fifth YouTube video. They flopped. Everybody's first try at something flops. So what is he really talking about? It's given envious of the youth. It's given jealous of women. It's given old and bitter and lonely. And so don't 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 be trying to drag Chloe talking about oh I, I did it because I love I love your sister. It's a lie and it's a facade and it's an excuse to talk shit and to speak any old type of way. It's you being entitled to being rude and calling it love because a lot of black people have a hard time distinguishing the difference between love and being talked to any old type of way. And that's why I'll leave y'all with this. My final thought, and I want to know your unanswered questions and final thoughts down below. I recently started going to therapy for the first time ever this week on Monday. It felt so good. There are some people in my family who I went no contact with because You'll have some people that'll tell you, oh, you only get one this or you only get one that. Talk to your family. Deal with the disrespect because they're your family. No, I don't care who you are. I don't have to tolerate disrespect. And disrespect and talk to me crazy does not equate love. I don't care who you are because all this is teaching me to deal with disrespect from you because you're my family is to deal with disrespect from somebody else. And as a matter of fact, you raised me better than that. What you told me when I was growing up was don't you accept disrespect from anyone. And when I got old enough to apply that to you, all of a sudden it was a problem. But no. So if you have to go no contact because people don't know how to speak to you properly and they feel committed and entitled to disrespecting you, you have every right to go no contact and to leave them the hell alone for the betterment of your sanity. And don't ever let somebody tell you that, oh, I'm talking to you all disrespectfully because I love you. Bullshit. It's manipulation. It's a narcissist tactic. And it's not love. It's a lack of self-control on their part. And it's them trying to beat you down so that you conform to whatever their thought process is about whatever they think that you should be doing in your life, in your career, whatever. The case. It's a control mechanism. No. And, and ultimately, it makes them feel better about themselves. Funky is an ugly ass, miserable ass, moldy prune looking ass nigga. I would be upset if I looked that way too. So I totally understand why he's acting that way. I get it. But that don't make it right. And I'm going to call it out. Because Chloe ain't do a damn thing to deserve that bullshit from him. And I see that the blog started dragging him around one in the morning. I said, well... I seen this shit yesterday. Let me go ahead and wake it up and go ahead and get it started. And here we are. And I guarantee you this, since they've responded and the blogs have been instigating it, I guarantee you Funky's going to double down on this tomorrow. He's not going to apologize. He's going to double down on this because misogyny is as misogyny does absolutely that's what he's gonna do mark my words and if i'm wrong i'm wrong just a prediction however he was dead ass wrong with what he said 
dead ass wrong with what he said because this is something that he said on a Tuesday night. The show gets permanently published on Wednesday. And here we are today and the blogs are just picking it up. I saw it. I decided to calm myself down before I even talked about it. Because one thing I don't like is men talking on pregnancies and telling women how they should be acting when it comes to or what they should be doing with pregnancies and being rude at the same time. It'd be different if they they didn't have an understanding and they were asking candid questions because they just wanted to know. But when you're telling a woman, a woman that you don't know, and, and this is a lifestyle that you'll never live, what a pregnant woman should be doing. And then I can clearly see the double standard clear as day. I don't think so. I'm going to speak up and I'm going to tell you about yourself. You talk for a living, nigga, so do I. I don't have a platform as big as yours, but that don't mean that I'm not going to speak up and speak out for and about women. Because Funky comes from this place of arrogance and he's part of a community and they feel like they can say whatever they want to say to and about people and call them anything, but they can tell other people what not to call them and what not to say to them and it's bullshit. And I'm going to speak out about it every time because I've given them too much goddamn grace. And that's the reason why these niggas with these dicks and these titties with, with whatever fuck pronouns, that's why they're so out of control and entitled now. And I be damned. So, you know, it is what it is. I appreciate y'all. I see a lot of people. Drop some pancakes in the chat. Make sure you hit thumbs up on the video if you haven't already. I see there are 570 people here. You guys, go back and watch the replay. I won't sit here and repeat myself, but this is pretty much the end of the video. Um, I've said a lot. Um, make sure you hit thumbs up. I do appreciate y'all. Y'all stay beautiful, black, and blessed. I did give y'all a sticky note in this video as well pertaining to not being ashamed to go no contact. My therapist really made me feel great when they told me that I should not be ashamed because I have, I felt bad about going no contact with um, certain family members. And, she, you know, she's like, you know, you, you have to protect yourself and if that is is triggering you or has you gone off the rails or it's affecting other areas of your life you have the right to go no contact don't feel bad about that don't feel bad about that so you know it is what it is um so your therapy has been great i've been sharing my therapy experience with the channel members backstage so i will continue to share my therapy progress and, and and how it is like i said it's the first time i've ever been to therapy so um if you join the membership on the second tier i think not the 199 tier i think it's the 499 tier got a 199 tier 499 tier and a 999 tier the middle tier and up will have access to um my therapy the progress because I, I do think it's an amazing thing and it, it took a lot for me to take that first step and to do it so um Um, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Okay. And, um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It, I felt so much better since I went to therapy. Like my mind, Ooh, my mind, my mentality, everything. I, I'm just, I, I have a new way of thinking and it's just been one session. So I can only imagine with doing the work and being consistent with the sessions, like what that is going to do for me. Um, I just can't imagine how amazing things may get, will get, will get, um, with the continuance. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you, Stephen, for the, um, thank you, Stephen, for the cash app. I do appreciate that. Thank you all for sharing this video. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Um, thank you for hitting thumbs up. You know, you don't have to send a cash app or a super chat or join the membership in order to support a simple thumbs up and subscribing to the channel is also going to do something. Get caught up on the pink sauce, girl. I do have an update coming for y'all later today, even though I'll probably get off work and pass out because I have to be to work in two hours. So I probably won't get any sleep. <laughs> I probably won't get any sleep at all. Um, but I do still want to give y'all a video when I get off of work today. So make sure you get caught up on the pink sauce, girl, if you haven't already. Um, it's a bit of a, a funny yet annoying story and train wreck. 
Um, but it'll definitely keep you entertained, especially if you watch the deleted Instagram live that I uploaded earlier today. So yeah, that's, that is that, um, in the last week we've done three videos on the pink sauce girl. So anyway, I'll stop rambling. I'll get off of here. Y'all have an amazing day. Y'all stay beautiful, black and blessed. Um, I hope that you have a productive day. I hope that you are able to fight off any negative energy or just refuse to engage with it. Just refuse to engage with negative energy. And um, I will catch y'all in the next video, okay? Check the community tab. Make sure to subscribe to the backup channel. It's linked down below. Um, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Deuces. But that's it. If you want to catch more of my commentary on black culture or vital and trending information, be sure to subscribe by hitting that little circle in the middle of the screen, or I'll catch you in one of these rectangles to the right in another video. I'll see you there.